The new Big Ten media deal has a lot of partners, Peacock being one of them. If the NBC streamer really wants to maximize their value, then having a night all to themselves might do the trick. Before we get into the video, just a reminder to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Big Ten content all off-season long. Always crush that like button to spread the word of Big Ten Ted to the masses. Folks, Big Ten football is going to be in a lot of places. It's going to be on Fox. It's going to be on CBS, also streaming on Paramount+. Plus. It's going to be on Saturday nights on Linear NBC, also streaming on Peacock. It's going to be on FS1. It's going to be on Big Ten Network. That chunk of networks has two things in common. First of all, it's, it is found in a traditional TV package, a package of channels that you can scroll through, whether it's on traditional, something like cable or over-the-air television for your Fox CBS and NBC, or on streaming, something like a YouTube TV or a Sling TV, where you have a package of channels that you scroll through. That's the first thing. The second thing, a majority of them, probably all of them, are going to be on Saturdays. Let's go back to the traditional TV package here for just a minute, and then I'll get to the Saturday stuff um, down the road here in this video. Okay, when you look at Fox, the CBS, the NBC, the FS1, the Big Ten Network, scrolling from game to game is usually, you usually have them all in one place. Peacock sits in a very interesting position in this TV package because they're not on that list of channel folks. You have to go out and find Peacock separately to be able to tune into those games. There are eight exclusive Peacock games per football season in this Big Ten media deal. If Peacock airs their games on Saturdays, they're going to get buried, right? When you have channel after channel after channel, whether it's streaming, whether it's linear, and I haven't even talked about going up against games like SEC games on ESPN, you look at Big 12 games on ESPN, ACC games on ESPN, the list goes on and on and on. There is a lot of content, not only just in the Big 10 package, but across the country, there is a lot of content on Saturdays. And Peacock, because you have to go out and find it separately outside of your traditional TV package, that's where it can get buried. That's where maybe it won't have the value. That's where maybe it won't have the viewership that maybe the games on the Big Ten Network or the FS1s are able to get. And that's where we get to Fridays. Having Peacock exclusive games on Friday nights benefits everybody in the Big Ten. It benefits Peacock, it benefits the teams that are playing on Peacock, and it benefits the Big Ten as a whole. Because now you're on a day, you're on a night, you're in a window that usually is not really occupied by much. Friday night is kind of a untapped window in terms of sports television right now. Really, the only competition that you'll consistently have on a Friday night is WWE Friday Night Smackdown on Fox. So you're in a pretty good spot if you can air Big Ten games on Friday nights on Peacock because we talk about you have to go out and find Peacock. You have to be searching for Peacock. You got to know that's the place that you want to go. And having a Friday night game in its own window live on Peacock without all the Big Ten competition. And we already know, right, half the Notre Dame schedule is going to be streaming on Peacock. Big Ten Saturday night is going to be streaming on Peacock. So half of the season, there's going to be a 3.30 game and a 7 o'clock game on Peacock. That is a lot of competition to really break out as a streamer, okay? The Big Ten might actually be already moving in this direction. There are five Friday night games scheduled to happen in 2023. This does not include the Black Friday game between Nebraska and Iowa that's probably going to be airing on CBS as a part of their deal. 
The five Friday night games are week one, Central Michigan visits Michigan State. Week two, Indiana State visits Indiana. Week three, Virginia's at Maryland. Week four, Wisconsin travels to West Lafayette to face Purdue. Week six, Nebraska travels to Illinois. This is an opportunity for the Big Ten to really put streaming on its own platform. I talked about it in a live show in the past few weeks that say if you bring in a streamer, you need to you need to do a couple of things. You need to put them on their own night and you need to provide them value. You need to try to put better games on there. Now I know Peacock's going to be pretty buried in the rotation of Big Ten games, but maybe putting them in their own time slot on a Friday night will increase the exposure for these eight exclusive Peacock streaming games. This is something that I believe that the Big Ten is looking to start here in 2023. You know, all this time, the last months or so, a lot of people talking about open windows. Friday night was one, maybe a Big Ten after dark on the West Coast was one as well. You're talking about Amazon Prime, you're talking about Apple TV Plus, and I kind of steered into that the last few weeks. But maybe Peacock, maybe this was the plan all along, right? We've got more Big Ten games shifting to Friday nights. And maybe this was the plan from the very start that Peacock was going to maximize their value by being put into a slot that is fairly unoccupied, that is Friday nights. Would you seek out Peacock on a Friday night for a game like a Wisconsin and a Purdue, like a Nebraska and in Illinois, would you seek that out if you're not subscribed to Peacock? Would you subscribe to see eight exclusive games on a Friday night? I want to hear what you guys think. Do you think that this is a plan that the Big Ten is going to do? Do you think that this would be a good plan? Like I said before, would you subscribe to Peacock that five bucks a month knowing that it's going to be an exclusive window because, man, if they air these games on Saturdays, they're probably going to get buried for people that are maybe a little bit unfamiliar with the streaming world. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Big Ten Ted. We will see you in the next one.